Thank you for staying with us. We're back and we have something very important to talk about. This is, of course, keeping our environment clean. And it is uh, Earth Month. So we're talking with, of course, Carmen and Carmen, and they're representing Aveda today. We also have uh, the Catawba Riverkeeper here with us, Sam Perkins and Leah Baldwin. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. All right, Sam, I'm going to start with you. We need to talk about the Catawba River. If some folks out there may not be familiar with the fact that we have a very, we don't have three rivers in town, and the Catawba is extremely polluted. Let's talk about this problem. The Catawba uh, starts in the mountains of North Carolina, and it goes through, and the Watery River is actually part of it. But we were actually named this morning the fifth most endangered river in America by American Rivers uh, for coal ash pollution and a number of the other things that are happening here and upstream. Let's just, let's just go ahead and repeat that. The fifth largest or the fifth most polluted river or most endangered river in our whole entire country. Most endangered in the entire country. And you mentioned those pollutants once again. You said um, ash? Coal ash. Um, it's a practice you wouldn't necessarily expect to happen in America, but it does. Uh, you get contaminants like arsenic and selenium and things that can cause cancer and developmental issues that are put in the ponds that drain into our drinking water. Where are they being put in from? Like um, factories or something? Uh, from coal-fired power plants. Okay. So. Um, that's something we're trying to prevent from uh, getting down river here. Also, waste spreading in fields in South Carolina is uh, another thing we're trying to fight. And maybe one of the biggest issues, especially for water treatment plants, is pharmaceuticals. We organize uh, medicine drops because things like antidepressants and even Viagra can be found in the water. They can't necessarily be treated out. So when Aveda here, someone comes in with stiff hair, you might know where that's coming from. Okay, and just to repeat, we have ash, waste, and pharmaceuticals in the Catawba River. That can't be good for the, the wildlife. It's not. Um, they've found these in fish, and the fish have issues with uh, surviving in the wild because the way a lot of these pharmaceuticals affect them, a way, the way uh, a lot of the metals that build up in their tissue affect them. Well, do people around here fish in the Catawba? Oh, the Catawba is fantastic for fishing, especially in the free-flowing section uh, between here and Rock Hill great largemouth bass fishing. But would you want to eat it? That's, that's the danger. For certain species of fish in certain areas, there are different advisories. Um, generally, women and children should not eat the fish. Men should limit how much they eat depending on the species. Okay, this is where the story takes a sad turn. That yeah. is crazy. So let's talk about what Carmen and Carmen is doing in conjunction with Aveda to help find a solution to this problem. Now, you guys get involved with Earth Month every year. This year you're joining uh, the Katama River Keeper and tell us how we're going to perhaps win a uh, Guinness World Record. Well we have a lot of great events that we're doing for Earth Month this year. Um, the biggest thing that Aveda is doing this year is a 24 hours of appointments for clean water and Aveda salons across the world are joining together and spending 24 hours to do, we're doing a cut-a-thon, you know our salon's doing it Monday the 22nd from 12 to 8 and we're going to do dry haircuts or shampoo styles, um, brow waxes, polish changes, anything we can do. And Aveda is trying to break the Guinness Book of World Records for the most amount, most amount of money raised for hair services this year. Well, this is fantastic because Aveda has salons all over the world. Yes. And all of your proceeds, 100% of your proceeds are going to be donated for a full day. Well, A, I hope we do get the most haircuts and I hope we get uh, plenty of money to help you guys out. Like how much is it going to take, you think, to, to put a dent in this? We've come a long way um, in recent years, but there's still a long way to go. It's, it's constant work. We've got uh, people working full time to do the research as well as the advocacy for this. Uh, certainly lobbying here in, in Columbia to help make sure that they realize that the largest industry in South Carolina is tourism. $17 billion a year depend on a good tourism industry, which depends on a good, attractive environment. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that information because people need to know that, especially if you're fishing in the Catawba. And thank you and Carmen Carmen and Aveda for everything you're doing. You're stepping up to the plate. I'm going to go ahead and schedule my appointment. I encourage you guys to do the same out there. It's going to fill up fast. One more time, it's Monday, April 22nd. You can make an appointment anywhere from noon to 8. Your simple services, your haircuts, your blowouts, your polish changes. We're going to try to break a world record and we're going to try to clean up the Catawba. So help us do that. Thanks so much, you guys, for coming down. We really, really appreciate everything that you're doing. Thank you. All right, well, we'll be back with more. Stay with us.